It's been a long week for those uh, forced from their homes. Many families, inclu including children affected by the floods. Even if you aren't, how can you help your children, your teen, perhaps deal with the anxiety that they may be feeling? Judy Arnell is a local best-selling author and a parenting coach and professional speaker. And uh, we're talking whether you've been affected by this or you've been watching the coverage for the past week. It has been everywhere. So how do you talk to your kids about this if they feel uh, upset about it or if they feel the need, okay, they need to be out there every day helping or that sort of thing? Well, it depends on their ages. If they're older kids like school age kids or teens, they're definitely watching the media. They have a lot of questions. Um, they want to channel their energy into doing something, helping. So as a parent or caregiver, you want to answer their questions as much as you can. You, you can't give them too much information. They take in what they can understand at their level. Um, channel their energy into baking or um, for teens, volunteering. There's People want to do something, and kids are no different. They want to do something too. Um, younger kids, so preschoolers, they cope with anxiety by acting out sometimes or just um, they need extra security. They can sense your anxiety. So um, keep their routines up, give them extra support that way and realize if you are in the flood, um, your kids are probably grieving in different ways than you are. So um, be sensitive to that, but, but also know they're going to be resilient and um, with caring people, they do get through this. Okay, for school age kids, preschoolers, are, are they having a good grasp of this or I guess it just depends on their maturity level of what, what's going on and, and how they want to respond? Preschoolers, not so much. Okay. I, they pick up more on what adults are doing and saying around them. School-age kids um, are probably seeing a lot of media if they're on um, social media. So um, they, they can understand a bit, but if they live in a neighborhood that's not affected, they don't travel, it's like another world to them. So answer their questions, um, assure them that things are getting better, and, and really focus on the the helping out and the volunteering and how many great people are out there and um, they live in a great community. And the other thing I guess some people are talking about moving on, should you feel guilt perhaps if your child's birthday is coming up or, or that sort of thing, do you put off things or do you put off at different gatherings or, or is it time to move on as well to kind of keep that routine in your family? Definitely keep the routine. Um, my son's birthday is today, my oldest son. Okay, happy and birthday to We're having a birthday party. Not a party, it's a scaled down thing. But children thrive on routines. They need predictability. It makes them feel secure. We need it to be, feel secure and maybe tone down, but it, you know, keep things happening. Okay, if people want some more information, your website uh, they can go to is what? Professionalparenting.ca. Okay, Judy Arnell, uh, thank you very much for your perspective this morning. Important to talk to your kids about this. Of course, it's everywhere. And of course, if you want uh, some more parenting tips, do not forget.